Well, you're starting the fourth module, which means that we're very close to the finish line. So, congratulations. In the previous module, we talked about one of the methods to present data within the 1C Enterprise platform. And by this method, as you might have guessed, I mean reports. Our study was limited to configuration object report and a query language as means for retrieving data from databases. Now, this module aims to teach how we can improve and manage application interfaces. And as you can see, our application currently is neither personified nor sophisticated. Let us begin with such an essential thing as document print forms. Bureaucracy is one of the everyday phenomena, and it's hard to imagine a production process existing without printed and signed forms. Creating document print forms is one of the frequent tasks for 1C developers. To be honest, in the chapter on the data composition system, we did a little trick. Here we've shown an example of what we would have to do to prepare a report manually. In fact, everything, the template, the command, and the code itself was compiled automatically by the platform through the functionality of building document print forms. In this chapter, we'll study the basic structure of print forms and learn about every stage of creating such forms. We go to Designer, select the desired document, right-click on it, go to section Wizards, and click Print Wizard. After that, we can either create a new print command or modify an existing one. Since we don't have any, we create one. Standard name print should do just fine. Click Next and go to the next tab. And here we see something familiar. We are offered to add attributes to the header of the print form. We take attributes number and date. In the next tab, we select items to add to the tabular section of our print form. Select all the required attributes. And at the end, we choose what should be in the footer of our print form. In the last tab, we make the final settings before creating the print form. And here is what these settings mean. We specify where we put our command by selecting the group of commands. We can choose to let command print send documents to print without preview. Obviously, it requires a configured printer. We can allow or prohibit any changes to spreadsheet documents. And we're dealing with a spreadsheet document now. So we set the document in read-only mode. When property protection is enabled, it is impossible to edit cells and images and the document is available for viewing only. Tables are also protected against editing and copying. In protected mode, it is only possible to print the respective tables. We can flag all options if needed, but this time we're skipping it. We click OK and get a bunch of open windows. We're not discussing how it all happens, so let's just see what we've got. The form of document purchases already comes with button print. All that we need to do is highlight the required document and click the button to send the document for printing. And here's the print form itself. We can do the same right inside the form of a document. 